help them with transport to get from match to match, uh, paying for uh, fees to, to use uh, football grounds, that sort of thing. We're also very keen for the grant to be used to help women and girls in the Rohingya community because we know that uh, they often suffer the greatest disadvantage and we're very keen to, uh, to work with the local community to see uh, how we can uh, support them and empower them to get women and girls more involved in community activities, including through sport. Do you sponsor it for a year or...? Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a one-off project. This this particular one uh, to uh, it's about uh, about fifty thousand ringgit, and we'll see if we can work with uh, with the Rohingya Football Club and the Kick Project uh, and other members, in fact, of the of the Rohingya community, uh, in other ways to support the work that they do. The fifty thousand is only for this club or the altogether Rohingya program. Now this is this is this is for this particular project, working with the Kick Project and the Rohingya Football Club. It's not just for the equipment that we've handed out today. It will support uh, other kinds of activities, uh, in particular the support for the women and girls that I uh, that I mentioned before. We're very keen to see that they get uh, they get supported. Can I just let me just add, let me add just one more thing? Uh, I. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet Minister for Sports and Youth, Kyrie Jamaludin, uh, this morning. I mentioned uh, our support for the Rohingya, Rohingya Football Club. Uh, he was very pleased to hear about it. He told me that uh, his ministry is also uh, supporting the Rohingya Football Club. And we had a good conversation uh, about the importance of uh, working with community groups like this and using sport as a, uh, as a way of bringing communities together. So I think it's something that's very well supported by the, uh, by the Malaysian government. Uh, coincidentally, we also signed this morning a, a, an MOU, a Memorandum of Understanding, with the Malaysian Government on sports cooperation between Australia and Malaysia. And this is something not related to this project, but more broadly, uh, that will enable greater sports cooperation between Australia and Malaysia in a number of different areas. Well, the MOU is a government-to-government -government agreement uh, that identifies a number of areas for uh, sports cooperation, including support for uh, professional sports, for elite athletes, for sports administration, for community-level sports, which is something that I'm uh, particularly keen to support. And I spoke to, uh, to Minister Kari about that this morning. It's something we're going to work on particularly uh, as a priority under this sports MOU. Well, this is this. Uh, well, it's well, it's uh, it's uh, it's cooperation between the two governments and uh, various parts of our governments and communities that are involved in sport. So it could be elite sports, cooperation between Australia, the Australian Institute in Sport, for example, and counterpart bodies uh, in Malaysia. It could be looking at how we can empower community level sports in Malaysia, looking at Australia as a model where we have very well established uh, community sports, sports in school, uh, very uh, very large numbers of uh, community based sporting clubs that are a, a, a very central part of community activities uh, in Australia. So I think uh, Malaysia is quite keen to look at our example and see if there are ways that they can use that model as a way of empowering uh, uh, local community level sports in Malaysia. And that's what the MOU is designed to do, to look at ways that we can build cooperation between our two countries in the area of sport. So it's a very, very good new area of cooperation between our governments. Okay, great. Thanks very much.